I want to tell you about my book club. My book club began its 20th year recently. We read a book that had a lot of impact. It was called A Woman Is No Man by Itaf Rum. I won't spoil the story, but the premise focuses on the limitations of being a woman in certain cultures, including now, even in America. It felt so foreign to us, a group of busy moms and accomplished career women. But then, after we talked about the book, we started sharing our own mother's experiences. Almost all of our mothers were teachers, if they worked out of the home at all. And those few careers available to women almost always ended once children came along. Most of our grandmothers had not even gone to college. I remember my mother's mother, Eleanor, telling me how envious she was of the education that her brother got. How she glowed with pride when she became a bat mitzvah very late in life. My mother, Adele, stopped being a teacher as our family grew to three children. When I was in middle school, about my son Harry's age, she decided that she was going to go to law school. I remember watching her study for the LSAT long hours, but still staying up past midnight to make pecan pie for whatever often Jewish organization event she was in charge of the next day. She had limited options of where she could apply to law school. No moving across the country to go to the very best school she could get into, but she did get into a great school in the end. With children and my dad to take care of, her options were limited. My mother was truly joyful when she was accepted into Seton Hall Law School. As a young teacher though, excuse me, as a young teenager, I was selfishly pretty annoyed. The other moms were always on time to pick up their kids, at least it seemed like it. I felt like I was already an afterthought. And what was gonna happen now? A chore to check off the list, so she could get back to her exciting new career. I would be better when I was a mom. I would be the mom at pickup, and I would be on time. But I realize now that my mother had no choice. She didn't have a career support system. It was socially unacceptable to leave work to go pick up your child from an activity. You had to pretend that you did not have children if you were at work. You couldn't have anything going on that didn't involve focusing on that career. And she didn't have the resources or the technology to, for example, work from home, to make it possible to do both. You were either on work duty or you were on mom duty. The world and me, her own child, were unforgiving. So this past Columbus Day, my 12-year-old son, who is here, was off from school. I was filming a segment for a client at the NASDAQ market site. Here's the thing, guys. I didn't even feel that I had to alert anyone in advance that I was bringing my child. I didn't have to separate my career and my family. I didn't feel pressure to hide the fact that I was a working mom. But what I love most was also that it was a non-event for my child. He was used to seeing his mom working. It was very normal. He didn't feel threatened by it. He didn't feel jealous of it. He knows me as a mom, but he also knows me as somebody who works, who has a career. He's kind of indifferent in the best way. He had a great time at the studio playing Minecraft while I was off doing my thing. It was very normal. My mother Adele is no longer with us, and so she will never know the path that she and so many other amazing women have paved for generations of daughters. Because while it still isn't easy, women who want to have both a career and be on time for pickup and not have to say they're anywhere else but picking up their child, 
now can do that. So thank you very much. And thank you to JWI and everyone here for supporting women and all that you do. Thank you.